What is the difference between the left-right dichotomy as understood in the U.S. and in the rest of the world? In the U.S., the right believes that we have, in the Constitution, a nearly perfect government outlined. We are conservative of that extremely limited government, believing that the government governs best which governs least. The left, quite contrarily, seeks to exert ever more and more control over the people by seeking constantly to expand government, curtail speech, disarm the citizen, and shackle each man, woman, and child under the chains of a welfare state. While the right celebrates rugged individualism and the divine sovereignty of the individual, the left abhors it. There is, of course, much confusion about the difference between the U.S. left-right dichotomy and that understood by the rest of the world. The distinction has tightened some in recent years as the right-wing Tories of Great Britain have adopted increasingly nationalist policies, and the far-left-wing Labour Party has drifted ever deeper into Marxism not unlike our American Democrats. Here is where the confusion began. Outside of the U.S. and prior to the U.S. Revolutionary War, to be conservative meant to be conservative of the traditions. It still means this, but the difference is in the tradition to which one is conservative. The England of old from which we the heirs of the great American founders broke was that of tyrannical monarchy. By the hand of that crown, the early colonists were abused with extraordinary and untenable taxes, much less substantial, by the way, than those imposed upon us by the modern American Democrat, reference Woodrow Wilson. They were forced to bivouac troops in private domiciles and saddled with unconscionable trade restrictions. Following the Declaration of Independence, and a year of the Revolutionary War, the Founders signed and adopted the Constitution of the United States. That document is what we swear to uphold and defend when we take oaths of office, commission, or enlistment. We do not swear to defend the country, nor the people, nor the government, and certainly not the politicians. We swear to defend the founding principle in the U.S. Constitution. What makes the dichotomous dichotomies difficult for the layman to reconcile is this. The Constitution is the most liberal document of law ever adopted to a governing body. Having presupposed the endowment of unalienable rights to the people and not granting them from the state, the Constitution defines liberty for mankind. The party in the U.S. that is generally called the Liberal Party is the Democrat Party. They have a talent for abusing and perverting language to lie about their positions. When they say pro-choice, they mean to murder children. When they say black lives matter, they mean black power. When they say progress while seeking in the freest nation in the world to rebuke the most freeing document in history in favor of the racism, statism, and violence of Marxism, they mean to regress to a state of vassals, begging. Please, Lord, may I have some more? Outside the U.S., the conservative is conservative of the monarchy. The American conservative is conservative of the Constitution that abolished that monarchy from our lands and set up a nation of free men.